start. Hey guys, this is Rise along with Cholera bringing you Game 3, the winner's match of Group 10 from the MSL, the Lost Saga MSL, right? So uh, we're going to see some exciting yep. games here. We got Fantasy versus Type B, both winners from their uh, respective games. Fantasy beating Quanro to move on and Type B coming back from a cheese loss, a failed cheese, I should say, and beating Best God. Uh, to move on to the winner's match. So here we go. They're playing on Destination, and uh, this should make for an exciting game. Do you think that Fantasy is the uh, uh, preferred player here or the uh, favored player to, to move on after this match? Well, I mean, I think it's hard to say because Fantasy did so well against Quanro, but at the same time, just looking at the numbers, Type B has a 2 to 1 ratio in his uh, wins against Terran. So, um, you know, not out of the most games, but certainly uh, an, almost a 2 to 1, actually. It's a little bit above 60%, but still, it's, it's very impressive, I think. And, uh, you know, I, I expect good things out of this kid. He did come back from, uh, uh, well, a five pool, lot, uh, losing, uh, you know, pretty much like completely failed five pool. And I thought he would be very behind the first game, but he came back. So um, this kid, this kid, uh, you know, ha has it seems like what it takes now against fantasy though. I don't know, and this map is destination. So I am gonna favor yeah. fantasy a lot though because of the map. And you know, I do expect fully for him to go mech this time. And fantasy has been proving me wrong every time I say he's gonna go mech, but I really think he will this time I gotta say I think he'd be a little silly not to go mech I mean we know how successful it is we've seen players who are capable of pulling it off pull it off with style against other very good Zerg players and uh, the fact of the matter is cannot beat Jadong of all players with it and if he can beat Absolutely. Jadong I think that uh, fantasy of uh, who I think is a much better player than Kanata I'm sure he can pull it off against type B or I, I I'm very you know I, I really think he will I, I I don't I'm not gonna say for sure definitely because we've been upset a lot in the past uh, calling things out too early but he's got a very good chance <laughs> yeah. and a much better probability than uh, a lot of other players have um, on the other hand type B we may see some sort of wacky build coming from him to deal with this because he knows of the uh, uh, you know, the problem would, would go in against the mech build on this, and uh, I'm not sure if, he, if he's got something up his sleeve to deal with it, because we know how hard it is to deal with it otherwise, so maybe he's got some special build himself that he's prepared to uh, try to take this out before it can do too much damage. You never know. But it looks like we're seeing a 8 racks here from uh, Fantasy. It's an interesting 8 racks here because he's going to put it at the edge of his base. Um, this actually is, is actually quite clever because his SCV doesn't take so long to um, get to the building location. Also, can go back a little bit sooner. So uh, he's still going to go for the 8 racks, though. He's going to float the barracks down and then build the Marines. Put a little bit of pressure. Probably going to go for the bunker rush anyway. Otherwise, you wouldn't go 8 racks. And then, I'm going to guess, he's probably going to switch to mech. Um, this is sort of the flash build that he's been doing a lot recently against. Uh, against the Zerg players, just going for the fast bunker rush and then follow up with the vultures, and it's just uh, so successful against a lot of Zergs. But Type B has gone for gas himself, so he's going to go for a two hatch build here. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised. I don't know where his. Uh, did he put down a spawning pool before the gas? He must have. Yeah, his, he must have put down a pool. Um, but yeah, Type B has not gone for a drone scout, which is important. And oh man, I think his, uh, there's no way he's going to see that coming. He's no way he's going to see the. Um, Wow, no, he just put down his spawning pool, so he went gas wow. first before pool. That is going to delay weird. his pool a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that was a good choice. I mean, really, no. you would think that he should have saw this coming, because this is a very common build. Flash isn't the only one who's done this. Jadon uh, actually had it done to him twice. He actually had it done to him by Firebat Hero as well, where Firebat Hero did the bunker rush. He managed to keep it up. Jadong ended up losing everything, and then he walled in and went vultures to finish him off. It was a very similar yep. build, if, if not the same. So, um, I mean, really, this seems almost to be expected by uh, Terran players lately. And, oh, it looks like he is going to expect that. He's going to send a lot of drones over there. Obviously, he sees the Marine and the uh, SCV there. As the SCV looks like it's about to build the bunker. It finally does. Finally gets enough minerals. And a second Marine coming in. This is all of a sudden going to be a little bit more difficult for uh, Type B to fight off and already loses one drone and now, oh no, but two drones down, cancelled, cancelled the bunker. It looks like Fantasy has completely just given up on that. He's taken out three drones though and Link's coming out. So it looks like uh, Fantasy completely just avoiding this build, going into a two-fact build. We are going to see Vultures popping out very shortly to deal with all the Links. I wonder if this was part of his plan, if he wanted to force the Links out quickly and switch even quicker to... Uh, 
uh, factory tech because maybe that w that must have been what was delaying the bunker. He must have been building a factory in the yeah. stack because why else would he have been waiting so long to put that bunker down? It should have been way earlier than it actually did go down. And now that is a very quick vulture to deal with the incoming links. Yeah, this, this is an interesting, once again, interesting variation on the 8 racks here. Um, it's kind of like a slow 8 racks too, because he didn't put it in a real proxy location. It's kind of like an economical 8 racks, if that's possible. <laughs> it's almost like an in-base in 8 racks, I guess. Oh, but looks like his vultures can get caught up by these Zerglings! Oh. And man, he barely manages to get away. It's just one Zergling hit left, though, so he has to micro perfectly here, but he it looks like he is going to micro very well, and uh, the Zerglings are going to be forced away from him. Meanwhile, a fast layer here coming from Type B, but I I don't know if he has anything defending his natural expansion. I, don't, I didn't see if he had any uh, sun colonies. Wow, a couple of Zerglings getting to fantasy space. But it uh, looks like only two Lings managed to get there in time. No, more Lings coming. And I don't know where the other vultures are, so fantasy could lose a lot of SCVs here. Yeah, it looks like he was building them, but wanted to put the machine shop down. The other factory was building before, so he probably put the machine shop down before the second factory was done. And then he was just heavily delayed in getting that, but he's going to go start start going for either speed vultures and or mines, uh, which, again, we've been seeing a lot on this map. Mines being a very effective uh, unit. Uh, against Zerg in general, taking out all sorts of Lings and Hydras and whatever else, Defilers, Lurkers. And now, it looks like he's got four Vultures out. He's easily going to be able to micro all those Lings around, and he's probably going to go in for a push. And it uh, looks like we have a Sunken out and a single Link to try to block this off, along with the Hydra list. Then, again, the common answer to this build is the Quick Hydras. It looks like we're going to see two Hash Hydras, and uh, maybe eventually into three and four Hash. But for now, he's going off two Hash. There is the Armory, so we may see a switch into Elias from here. Yeah, that's generally been the way that Terran has been playing this, but oh, looks like Type B did not block his ramp. Oh my goodness, Type B did not block his ramp. He's in big trouble. Now there's two vultures inside his base. They're badly damaged, but speed upgraded now. Just now, the speed upgrade hitting in. Actually, no, I think it would have gotten in uh, when they were doing the run by, too. Uh, Hydra's in the mineral lines, though, so he's going to eventually pick them off, but two drones down already. Maybe a third one going down, and Type B does, looks very worried here. He is reasonably worried. He's lost a lot of his economy right now. He's going to lose, I think that was a total of at least four drones. Drones, um, and uh, maybe three drones. Uh, and now he's putting a spire down, but he really doesn't have the uh, drone count necessary to to keep building Hydralisk and defending, and, and also eventually get Mulisk. He's in just huge trouble right now. Yeah, and <clears throat> again, we're seeing the importance of the sunken placement here. Uh, we've seen this in a lot of matchups, not just TVZ, but PVZ and, and, and PVT. The fact of the matter is, if you don't have more than one sunken, you can't defend that entire natural. You can't defend both your ramp and your minerals, um, although he's certainly relying on the hydras at this point, but he didn't have them for a while, and those vultures managed to take out another two drones. This is killing Type B, and I don't know if he can come back from this, considering he's done no economic damage damage to fantasy other than maybe one or two SCVs going down with that initial Ling attack or counter attack and now he's got a Spire going down and obviously that was oh, yeah, scouted and oh more drones gonna go down two vultures getting in again oh, no. it looks like Type B e is completely out of position with no Hydras in his base more drones gonna go down and oh, I, I think that's it for Type B e. I don't think he's got any way to come back from this yeah, man, slow hydras just crawl their way around the map. They don't even walk. They just crawl. Look at how slow those hydralisks are. Of course, he didn't have time to get speed upgrade. Uh, the hydras are just meant to be a stopgap, but it didn't stop the gap this time. Uh, <laughs> Fantasy quite literally ran through the gap several times. If you mean the the gap, the ramp is, you know. And now he is completely out of this game. It doesn't even matter if he gets his fire up because he's got maybe eight links total. And Fantasy is just entire game has just been wrecking his economy economy in and out. This economy is worse than the U.S. economy right now, I gotta say. Fantasy is Bernie Madoff, and uh, he's ruined the economy oh my <laughs> of, God. of Type B. He just wow, keeps this taking is out just those ridiculous. drones. He's I know, like it's amazing drones. to watch. And the this Hydras can't do Vulture anything micro. about it. And the Hydras just try to run after him, like you said, crawling around, but they can't do anything. And man, those vultures are like hero vultures. And oh no, they're going to take out another couple of drones getting behind oh the line, still God. staying away. He hasn't even made a muta yet. I don't think he's got the minerals. And look at all the Goliaths. He is so prepared for any muta with eight Goliaths out already and probably with Terran booster upgrades. Uh, sorry, Caron boosters, however you say it. And uh, I don't. I, I think that's it, man. I, I think uh, we're just waiting for Type B to GG.
Yeah, I mean, the GG is just academic at this point. So is this uh, command center. All this stuff is just all academic, you know. It's it just doing it for show. Yeah, I think Type B knows he's got no chance of coming back from that. I mean, he's got 10 drones. He's got fewer drones than, than Goliaths that are on the field probably at this point. 10 Goliaths, Which is yeah. not a good thing. Yeah, fewer drones and Goliaths, not good. Um, and, you know, pretty much uh, we could see Fantasy win in many ways. He could just walk across the ramp and win, uh, ro walk across <laughs> the bridges and win, or he could uh, get tanks and win, or he could just expand it like he's doing and, and win. But, uh, yeah, picking off an Overlord and, you know, just waiting for the critical mass. So he's going to get all the glides together and then just A move in, and, and that'll be all because uh, there's no way no way back here for Type B. So very well played by Fantasy, i got to say. Just beautiful, beautiful Vulture Micro. And it looks like he, you know, smoothly comes out of this group uh, without even much of a scratch. Yeah, I gotta say, I like his deviation in the build that we've been seeing from Flash and others. Yeah. I think that it's a good adaptation. And GG finally coming from Type B. So, uh, looks like Fantasy is actually the first player to move on. As expected, we really did think that Fantasy was gonna move on. And now we're gonna see two Zergs and Best God fight it out, which makes me think that Best God is in a lot of trouble and not likely <laughs> to move out at this point. So, uh, no. GG, and we'll see you in the next set. Thanks for watching.